Hey guys, it's Jenny Silver. Today I want to talk to those of you California homeowners who are awaiting details of the California Homeowners Assistance Fund. If you've been waiting details on California mortgage relief, we finally have more information available from the California HFA. So this plan for the California Mortgage Relief Program was submitted by Cal HFA to the U.S. Treasury and is currently awaiting approval. Approval. Once California's plan is approved by the U.S. Treasury, then Cal HFA will announce details on when and how to apply. So once again, what I'm showing you is the preliminary program that has been sent for approval. So no, you cannot apply for this just yet. First, who is eligible? Homeowners must currently own and occupy the property in California as their primary residence. Homeowners must meet the homeowner income eligibility requirements. Homeowners must own and occupy not more than one property. Homeowners must attest that they experienced a financial hardship after January 21, 2020. The attestation must describe the nature of the financial hardship. The original unpaid principal balance of the homeowner's first mortgage loan at the time of origination was not greater than the conforming loan limit in effect at time of origination. Co-owners are not permitted to separately apply for the program assistance, and homeowners who have received other forms of government assistance, including other forms of COVID-19 assistance from the CARES Act, Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2021, or the American Rescue Plan Act, does not disqualify a household from the California Mortgage Relief Program. Eligible legal ownership structures include those where the home is owned by a natural person, and those where the homeowner has transferred their ownership right into non-incorporated living trusts provided the homeowner occupies the home as the primary or principal residence. So what is a qualified financial hardship? A qualified financial hardship is a material reduction in income or material increase in living expenses associated with the coronavirus pandemic that has created or increased a risk of mortgage delinquency mortgage default, foreclosure, or displacement of a homeowner. This includes reduction of income, increase in living expenses, and the homeowner must complete and sign the affidavit, which includes an attestation of qualified financial hardship. To be eligible for assistance, all household members must have a collective income equal to or less than 100% of the area median income adjusted by household size. Household members must meet one of the three paths to qualify for assistance. Greater than 40% housing to income ratio, less than or equal to 40% housing to income ratio and possesses a denial of alternative workout options from the servicer including short sale and deed in lieu or currently receiving and have proof of an income proxy such as unemployment, Medi-Cal, WIC, SNAP, FDPIR, TANF, SMP, Section 8, and many other income-based county, municipality, state, and or federal assistance programs. Cal HFA is focused on households at or below 100% of the area median income. Eligible properties include single-family properties, one-unit owner-occupied, condominium units, manufactured homes permanently affixed to real property, and taxed as real estate. Ineligible properties include vacant or abandoned, second homes, investment properties, or manufactured homes not affixed to permanent foundations. Eligible uses of the program proceeds include mortgage obligations as listed below, existing first mortgage loan payment, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, plus any escrow shortages to fully reinstate the mortgage to a current status. Must be at least two payments past due at the time of application for assistance and the delinquency must occur prior to the program's launch date. So how is it paid out? 
The mortgage assistance under the program is paid out according to these guidelines. Assistance will be structured as a non-recourse grant. Maximum assistance per household is $80,000. Cal HFA will disperse assistance directly to mortgage servicer. Cal HFA will make no more than one disbursement to each participant in the program. The program is to end on September 30, 2026. HAF recipients shall not incur any obligations to be paid with the funding from this award after such period as the performance ends. And Cal HFA plans to disperse all funds by September 30, 2025. Once the treasurer approves this program, then applications will be accepted online through the Outreach Navigator and Intake Review Portal. Cal HFA will provide more information once this is approved on how to apply. Okay, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Please click like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below.